I got a question from our buddy Anselmo Shinobi Lucero, and he actually sent me a match of his um, where he won the match, but there was a point in the match where he could have um, finished it right then and there. So we'll watch that clip there. Oh, yeah, he's murdering him. Choke him out. Choke him out. Choke him out. Just like practice, bro. Come on. He had the grip for the bone arrow, but he tried to sling his leg around and the person was able to get out of that position. So um, we'll look at the kind of the position you got to. So go ahead and turn this way here. You were here, you had the grip, and then you started reaching for the leg, and then you were trying to swing this leg out, and then what ended up happening is the guy loosened up a little bit, got this grip free, was able to turn into you. You're a big guy, I'm a big guy. And sometimes for us big dudes, sometimes it's hard to move our bodies around, especially when you've got another big guy laying on your leg, right? So I'm gonna show you the way that I personally like to do the bone arrow choke, um, opposed to the traditional way where we kick our leg out or put the shin in behind the neck. So it, especially again, with these big guys, if they're laying here on your leg, it's very hard to move this darn thing, right? So what I'm gonna do instead of doing this is I'm going to let this leg drop, okay? And again, this is calculated, I know that I'm, you know, possibly giving him an out, but that's kind of the whole point. As he does this, I'm putting my other leg here, and then we're gonna drop down. Now check this out, because we have a strong grip here, he can't turn towards me, okay? That's kind of the reason why I can do this, because this grip, if he turns into it, he's actually turning into a choke. From here, I'm going to come up to my knee, and I can get to my position here on top. Now let's take a look at some basics here. Still have this grip here, but now obviously I'm gonna be loose on chat, so I don't choke, I'm unconscious. And we're gonna sit down just like we would, similar to a uh, arm bar. So my foot here in the front is not gonna stay posted. I'm gonna sit on Chad as I'm grabbing the leg and then I'm gonna sit back to my back. Now, as soon as you're sitting back, there's no question about it. The person is gonna grab your hand, right? They're gonna try to peel this grip off. And this is where these legs are gonna come into play. So I'm going to throw my legs over top of this grip. This is gonna kill this one. And then from here, we grab at the knee. And when you're pulling back, do not lean back. Pull like you're at the gym doing a row and extend, boom, okay? So again, pulling in tight rather than sitting back because if we sit back too far, his head might pop out and then we're gonna lose position. When you feed these grips in, take this lapel and flip the lip up. This gives you a nice strong forefinger grip opposed to if you're grabbing like this, you're kind of hanging on with just your index finger and your thumb, it's not quite as strong. So you can flip this lip up, gives you a nice strong grip. Okay, now again, we're in their position. We, we're, we wanna go for that bow and arrow, but again, I'm not in the position to really move. So I'm gonna let my partner move by taking my leg, flopping it down, my other leg goes over top of the thigh, or over top of the hip. Now from here, I'm gonna come up to my elbow, up to my knee, and then we're in this top position, this sort of side mount position. Grab the knee and rock your weight onto the person's body. This will allow you to swing the leg around easily. Now again, I'm gonna do this in one you know, motion, but right now I'm trying to break it down to you from here. The person will come up to defend, it's always gonna happen. Collapse over top, pull the leg back, pull the grip on the neck, and then extend your hips forward. Here, in position, we're, we're down here, you were able to get this grip, perfect. Can't get, can't get the, the choke going, let him go. Come on up to the elbow, drive the shoulders through. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> what happened? I don't hurt. <laughs> Chad's nursing a little bit of a, Injury on his side, and I was trying to be as light as possible, but as you can see, I'm kind of a fat ass, so, so that failed. <laughs> but Anselmo, that's what I would do for you, brothers, or that's what I would uh, tell you to do, is when you're trying to go for that bone arrow choke, instead of laying there on their side, come up on top first. One, in a tournament situation where there are points uh, being scored, that's gonna keep you in dominant position the whole time. Um, and then on top of that, you still have that grip, and you can still, there's a ton of options from there. Like that's one, but I have a whole series from that position of chokes and arm locks and wrist locks and everything else where again, you're constantly attacking but you're still keeping yourself in a good position and not losing everything to go for that choke. So, hope that helps brother. Good luck to you in your next competitions and congratulations on your recent win.